Este es el campamento de los bordes. Do it. What are you doing? Who let you pass? Your men. We are here to parley with your chief. Parley? With Renaixe? You truly believe that... Leave this to me. I want to know what they have to say. I know you, Renaixe. It is you who freed the Loyan prisoners. Speak. I will hear you. To speak to you about my cousin's capture and the massacre of his escort. A soldier from the nearby outpost survived and told us that you were present on the battlefield. You dare come here and accuse us of taking him? Let me throw him out this Renaixe and his Ilkderen. May they receive this punishment for their arrogance. I know that you see us as your enemies. But we are not here to harm you. I only seek to find the man I consider to be my brother, as well as the man who was protecting him. Katasak, one of your greatest Donegad. No Donea Exregal would attack Katasak. If you didn't attack him, you must know what happened to them. I was told that an islander took my cousin away. Perhaps your men were there to aid them. We do not have your cousin, and we do not know what happened to him. As for Katasach, and Avorst, Tire, he died from his wounds. That night, we heard the sounds of a terrible combat. The ground shook all the way to our homes. We went to sea, but we arrived too late. The last breath of Katasach had returned to the wind when we arrived there, and many of the Renaixe were dead. We could do no more. We carried the body of the Donegad and brought it here. He gave his life to protect Constantine. May he rest in peace. This request might surprise you, but we would like to see him. Why? What do you want to do with him, Renaixe? Examine him, to understand what killed him. We were told that an island native was there. ...and that he likely led the attack. No Donea Exregal would attack Katasach. You have been lied to, or they were mistaken. That is the very reason I need to see his body. To understand. You may see him. But if you desecrate his body... ...you will pay for this offense with your life.
Creo que me voy a cambiar los compañeros antes. Este sitio no lo había visto. Seeing the state of his body, I hate myself for having suspected him. Forgive me, Donegad, to have doubted your loyalty, and even more for what we are about to do. Now then, let's see what story this corpse has to tell. The corpse retains the marks of a bludgeoning. There are large bruises all over it. You can see no wounds that could be attributed to a blade or musket shot. The main wound is found on the chest, which was crushed by something tremendous, to the extent that the skin has been torn, and the ribs are in pieces and the organs punctured. The edges of the wound are singed and smell of burnt flesh. There is a powdery spot on this wound, as if from ash or dusty gravel. Kadazak bore the brunt of this attack of incredible force. I would venture to say it was inhuman. I can only imagine one thing that would have inflicted such a wound. It's as if an enormous burning stone hit him right in the center of the chest. And seeing as how the bodies of the soldiers we found were sporting wounds of a similar nature, we can deduce that we are tracking a man or a creature capable of using molten rock as a weapon. I can't imagine an Adaig behaving like this. It is not their way. That they might attack careless hunters or warriors, true, but to attack Katasach. The power to call volcano fires could only be that of a guardian. No simple man wields mountain fire. We still don't really know who is actually behind this attack, nor what they want. Judging by the severity of these wounds, I fear the worst for Constantin. All your experiments. You've learned so little. You've learned to fear. Your instincts should have been enough. We had to at least try. Are you not even concerned? Or angered by what happened to Katazak? We've grown accustomed to the loss of lives. Your relentless attacks and incessant treacheries. All the same. There is truth in your words. This attack is out of place. Guardian and Donegad would never attack one another. There is a ritual that might help us. Anatalas Fair. The Anatalas Fair? What is it? Tell me more. It is a magical rite that only a person with a powerful bond to both spirits and nature can perform. It allows the Donegad who chants it to relive the last moments 
of an Onol Manawi. That would allow us to at least see the face of his assassin. If what I have heard is true, yes. To my knowledge, only one Donegad still living knows the ritual. Let's ask her for her help then. She might be able to tell us what has become of Constantine. You are quick to ask another to put her mind in danger for your own concerns. Imagine the pain of the wounds of another, shaking your body as the cold of death crushes your beating heart. This is what you must ask of the Tiernahach. It is the price she must pay for performing the ritual. When her companion was lost in battle, fighting against your own, she wanted to live that death beside her. Since that day, our Tierna Hach has never breathed air with the same breath. That would explain her distrust of the Colonials. You must make her see your purpose. It may be the only way you are going to learn the fate of your cousin. Sherlock Holmes ya se puede ir olvidando comparado con, con, con esta mujer. Que lo... Vamos. ¿Qué hace si ahora ahí arriba? Pues se me está ocurriendo una idea loca de que hayan hecho un ritual en el que Constantine se haya convertido en algo raro y haya sido él mismo el que ha matado a todo el mundo. ¿Es muy loco? Hello, Mev. Renoixe. Why have you come here again? I've come to ask for your help. My help? You still seek the remedy for the sickness on your island? Or are you looking for something else? My cousin has been taken. And I've been told that you could help me. Truly? And in what way? By performing the Anatalus Fair on the body of Katasak the Donegad. Katasak is dead. Under Vush Dere. This is a great tragedy. He was a good man. Perhaps the best of us all. How did this happen? He went with my cousin to a sacred site when they were attacked. My cousin has disappeared. Taken, according to a witness. And Katazak suffered terrible wounds. We examined him, and it seemed as if he had been struck by molten rock. Fire of the earth. Only the Nadaig Maneman have the power to wield it. But none of our own would have attacked Katasak. This is why we need your help. We want to understand and to find who's responsible. Will you leave him alive as well? What do you mean? You let the one who tried to kill me go. That is true. But I can't yet tell you what I will do to the one responsible for this. At least we will have a chance to find Constantine. Because it is your true reason to act upon this, no? <sighs> Whatever your reasons deep down, I too would like to understand. Our island wails in suffering. Many Sinol Minawi have died. The Anatalas Fair may kill me, but at least I will know. You will need to act as my Voglendig, and bring to me the necessary ingredients while I prepare. What do you require? A potion. And listen and remember. Or write in your language what I shall tell you. Do not forget, the viscera of the scavengers must be taken from a place near the battlefield, because they contain the flesh of those who fell. As for the personal object of Katasach, find his weapon, because it knew his fury and his despair. He didn't have a weapon when I found his body. I'll search the battlefield. Where can I find him? In Doren's camp. She recovered him after the battle. Very well. Not far from there is a sacred circle. You'll find me there when you have united all that I need. Then we can perform the ritual when the moon is high. In that case, let's go together to the ritual site. The place of the attack is not far from Duren's camp. Very well. I'll follow you. 
Qué macabro, ¿no? Primero me voy a ir al campamento para crear la poción. Como seguramente necesite uno de mmm, ciencia, directamente me voy a poner esta túnica y, y ya está. Vale, es esta, poción para ritual de Anatela Sfer. Efectivamente se necesita ciencia nivel 1. Como yo no la tengo, pues... Ah, no la puedo hacer, vale. Pues he ido muy rápido yo y, claro, se necesitan los órganos de los carroñeros para poder hacer la poción. Así que esto hay que hacerlo lo último. Ah! 
Lo que acaba de pasar, eh, que lo, lo voy a dejar sin editar, pues alguno, alguno otro os pasa, es que sin querer le he dado a la E para hablar con Siora, entonces me he saltado la opción de para iniciar el, roma, el romance, ¿no? la escena de romance. Yo he hecho ya la, las tres misiones principales con los tres personajes con los que se puede tener romance, que son Siora, eh, Vasco y en este caso, como llevo un personaje femenino, a Kart. Entonces, estoy esperando a elegir uno de ellos para ver las escenas posteriores eh, más adelante en la historia, porque quiero esperar a, al punto de no retorno, por así decirlo. Cuando haya un punto de no retorno, en el cual ya, para poder sacarme de la, todas las escenas posibles. Entonces, por eso, si sin querer hablo con cualquiera de ellos, tanto aquí como en el campamento, directamente te salta, te salta esta opción que te dice que si quieres pasar un tiempo a solas. Entonces esto ya pues, te hace tener que, que elegir. ¿no? Eh, nada, lo que he hecho yo es cancelarlo y volver a cargar. Pero vamos, una cosa a tener en cuenta. Si tienes ya todas las misiones personales hechas y el nivel de relación está en afable, con cualquiera de estos tres compañeros, la próxima vez que hables con ellos es cuando ya te dicen que si quieres pasar un rato a solas. Así que ahora me toca hacer replay. Por cierto, no sé si lo comenté el otro día, que el nivel de dificultad lo he cambiado a normal, ¿vale? En las, las luchas, porque sí es verdad que a mí no me gusta estar perdiendo el tiempo en luchas y en estas historias, pero es que era eh, demasiado fácil. De hecho, los, los bichos es que a veces ni se movían. Entonces, pues, yo qué sé, para que sea un poco más dinámico, le he cambiado el, el nivel de dificultad. Mira, esto está muy bien. Me da la opción de ir al, al campamento a crear la poción. Eh, y esto, o sea, me da la, la opción de hacer esto, de, o sea, ir al campamento de Diggersen, crear, eh, irme a Hikmet o quedarme aquí. Cosa que en otras muchas misiones yo me he quejado precisamente por esto, por hacerme absurdamente ir saltando de, un, de una zona a otra del mapa, por ejemplo, para una cosa tan absurda como hacer una poción. Lo que no entiendo es, que ya lo he comentado en alguna otra ocasión, el, el baremo o en qué se basan para, en algunas, mis, en algunas misiones como en esta, de esta opción que me parece más lógico, y en otras no, en otras estarte mareando. O sea, no, no entiendo muy bien en qué se han basado o por qué no han hecho todo eh, uniforme o de, siguiendo la misma línea, ¿no? Y por qué en unas sí, en otras no, no, no sé. No, es, no, no lo entiendo muy bien esto. Bueno, voy a ir al campamento este porque creo que, que no sé para qué me voy a ir a Hikmet para hacer esto. Vale, ahora sí, debería de funcionar. Fabricar. Sí. Vale, Mev está aquí bastante cerca, con lo cual la opción de ir a este campamento es la lógica. Lo que no... Tampoco entiendo mucho es que me diga que si me quiero ir a Hikmet a hacerla, pero bueno.
able to find the elements I need for the ritual? Yes. Here is what you asked me to bring. This is good. The moon is high. We may start. Take your place. Katasar, we have come to learn the truth of your death. Ato al frangawi brandi, olehana memen adestame haman. Bara fridenan tahanemo kwate grenfem, linkui dam da renau te da hodos. Lemat, de tahawan kloisam, de talugedon velam. De ta ragam buledam. De ta tamenam reloidan. A de ta lamen kante bij dam. En an telam per frag tangom. Katasar, help me. Please. Show no fear. I do not think he means you any harm. <gasps> what is this? This monster? Why is it attacking us? I don't know. I don't understand. It is as if it seeks you out. It wants you. You never should have done that, Katasar. To save one, Renaikse, you put us all in great peril. His spirit is different. He receives badly. You have woven the bond of the Deathbringer. What is happening to you? Get a hold of yourself. Come on. <laughs> I cannot believe it. He has returned. Who has? Tinbar. The High King. We thought he was dead. He disappeared months ago. Is he the attacker? And what of Constantine? Have you seen a young, blonde-haired man? He was sickly. Yes. The golden haired was there. And he was afraid. Katasakh protected him before he was killed by Finbar. Leave me now. I am very tired. How are you feeling? Better. What are you going to do now? If I want to have any hope of finding Constantine, I must follow Vinbar. I have no choice. Do you know where to look for him? Vinbar has been missing for moons. The kings and queens could tell me where they saw him for the last time. Then you must earn their trust. Arm yourself with patience and courage on all Manawi. Your journey is still long. Thank you, Mev. You have helped us greatly. Do not thank me. I have not done this for you, but for Katasakh. In order to satisfy my curiosity, I betrayed my king. You will find him and confront him, no doubt. All that remains for me to do is to pray that I have done nothing that cannot be fixed. Farewell, Mev. <laughs>